So a concussion is a traumatic brain injury, um, but it's more functional than it is structural. You can't see it on a CT or an MRI necessarily like you can if you have an ankle sprain or it swells. Um, so it's caused by um, shearing biomechanical forces um, that actually injure the brain's nerves. Um, and so uh, oftentimes, you know, people develop all kinds of different symptoms um, like headache, and dizziness, light and noise sensitivity um, that are um, treatable, but um, they usually just require some rest. So the simple answer is no, they don't have to be knocked out. Um, a concussion is really um, caused by either a direct blow or an indirect blow to the head. So for example, if um, two helmets collide or two heads collide, that's a direct hit, a direct injury. Um, an indirect hit would be um, forces transmitted to the brain, say, by being tackled or by being um, uh, rear-ended in a car. The signs and symptoms of a concussion are many. Um, it could be anything from a headache to uh, light and noise sensitivity, nausea, vomiting, balance problems, difficulty concentrating. Um, in adolescence, we see a lot more irritability um, and difficulty in school, difficulty remembering things. So the symptoms of concussion usually resolve on their own within seven to 10 days, um, typically just with rest, both physical um, and cognitive. So if a person sustains a concussion um, during sport uh, activity, they should be removed from that activity immediately. Even if you're not entirely sure that they've suffered a concussion, it's worth checking them out. Um, and the law in the state of Washington says that if a person is injured and you suspect a concussion, they're not allowed to return to play in the same day. So by law, we're required to keep that athlete out until they've been evaluated and cleared by a physician. So a person can um, return to their sport or activity after they've suffered a concussion, um, typically if they've been symptom free, uh, both at rest and with activity. For our student athletes in school, um, we have a graduated five-step return to play program that takes them from um, you know, just very light aerobic activity to full contact practice over a five-day period. And, um, they have to be symptom free for 24 hours in between each of those steps in order to progress to the next one. So in conclusion, a concussion is a brain injury and it's not to be taken lightly. They're complex injuries um, and they take some time to heal. So we expect kids um, or athletes to be out of work or school um, as well as their activity um, for around seven to 10 days. Um, if the symptoms don't improve, that doesn't mean that they need to have a CAT scan or um, an MRI of their brain right away. Um, it just means that they need to be evaluated by a physician um, or the athletic trainer at their school if they haven't been already um, so that they can be taught uh, the steps to um, start to get better. And that's usually, like I said, in the form of cognitive and physical rest. And after they've completed that five-day return to play protocol, um, they're free to return to sport.